Meanwhile then, Erling Haaland officially presented as the latest addition to the Manchester City squad, making that move from Borussia Dortmund to the Premier League. Fantastic photo here they put together of him sitting on the couch uh, back in the day in his City shirt. And of course now... In cushions. <laughs> well, I think that was the point. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, Stevie. <laughs> well, good was, pick out. Good pick out, Stevie. I bet they're getting their dogs. My cushions don't last that long. Right, I don't think they're the same cushions. Uh, here's what Harling had to say <laughs> on the signing. I think in the end, two things. I I feel a bit home here. I think, and uh, also I I think I can develop uh, and uh, get the best out of my game in in City. I like the style. I like the attacking football. Uh, I like the, the kind of positive vibe uh, we have uh, uh, when City play football. This is uh, what I, I like a lot. Um, uh, so, uh, yeah, I think, I think it's, a, it's a really good fit. You know, I, I could be comparing apples and oranges here, but you think of a striker, what, 6'3", six, 6'4", six, mm -hmm. as fast as he is, and you think, well, they're going to need space. You know, you think of Lukaku, and we right. always say that he needs space. And that when it's all tight and in and around the penalty box, that doesn't suit his game. This guy's the opposite. He's got such quick feet. And he doesn't have a huge back lift when he hits the ball. You know when he's striking balls at goal? He doesn't have this big, huge, gangly back, back lift. Right. It's really sharp and really crisp. So he's, he's absolutely just the answer that they've been looking for. And, and guess what? The other thing is, and we just, meant, we just saw it in the interview, the, the, the expression in his face is one of... I want to be here, yeah. I'm excited to be here, I can't wait to get going, and this is gonna be the dream position for me. So that, that gets you going in the right direction to begin with. Then you take in your skill level and your skill set, and then you take the skill set of the people around you, Man, it all seems on paper like a beautiful, beautiful story. Who makes way then, Jules? How does this starting heaven look with Erlen Haaland in it? Well, that's going to be very interesting. I think it's not too hard to think that Guardiola would obviously play Haaland in the centre and then have two wingers each side of him, whether you pick Sterling or Grealish, Mares or I guess Bernardo Silva can play a bit higher up and then you've got your three midfielders behind, Rodri as the holding and then Kevin De Bruyne. And then a third one which could be Gundogan, who could be Bernardo Silva, for example. I think what's interesting though is Haaland of course, he would be a big success and we score lots of goals, but we still have, I think, to adapt a little bit the way he plays, of course, and I think Pep will do the same with the team. Maybe Carl Walker can have be a, a more attacking role than last season, for example, where he played mostly as a, as a third centre-back and Cancelo had the, the most licence to go forward. But Walker, in the past, certainly in the past few seasons, you know, usually was more attacking on that right-hand side as well. So maybe that changes a little bit. It'd be interesting to see what City does to adapt also their game to, to Hurling Haaland's quality. But it's going to be really fascinating. And as early as pre-season, and Pep has already said, they just want him to arrive mm. fully fit, rested, in good form. We saw him scoring a lot already in those Nations League that are now over for him. He can go on holidays and be ready to start pre-season because there will be also a lot of work and a lot of things for him to learn in the Guardiola system and the way this team has been playing for so many years all together that he will, be, he will need to be ready to work hard. Think about what other teams now defensively have to face against Manchester City. So you have Erling Haaland right there, parked between the two center backs. So if you're a center back and then you got all the floating pieces around of Manchester City, are you then leaving this guy yeah. to then go step into Kevin De Bruyne? Are you leaving this guy to go and pick up Bernardo Silva? Is Phil Foden floating over here? So you have a lot of pieces around Erling Haaland, then you have him here between the two center backs. It's going to make it so difficult for center backs to make decisions, for defensive midfielders to make decisions. Once these guys start moving all over the place and you still have the big presence of Erling Haaland, somebody's going to have space. So it's pick your poison. Do you give uh, space, time and space to Kevin De Bruyne in the attacking third and say, yeah, you pick out a pass? Or do you leave space for Erling Haaland for him to make a free run in behind? It's going to be so difficult to pick up defensively for every team that plays against Manchester City. Uh, the bookies have high hopes when it comes to Erling Haaland. He is the favourite to win the Golden Boot in the Premier League 
next season. Just ahead of Mohamed Salah, Kane then at sevens, uh, Son in at tens, Cristiano Ronaldo at twelves. Where's your money, Stevie? Um, <clears throat> it's definitely between Haaland and, and Salah for me. And I've got to say that I'm going to go with, with Haaland because he's playing right through the pipe. Wow. Because he's a centre forward. Yeah. You know, Mohamed Salah's goals, a lot of them are crafted by himself with pieces of brilliance. Whereas this guy is just like an old-fashioned number nine at times. Just get the ball in the box and he'll get on the end of it and put it in the back of the net. So I'm just, I, I think Haaland might shade it. Erling Haaland. Yeah. It's not going to be Cristiano. I, can, I cannot believe that he's on the list. Well, he scored lots of goals last <laughs> season, Ali. <laughs> but not enough to be ahead of Salah or Erling Haaland. Erling Haaland will lead it. Hat trick for you, Jules. Haaland as well. Yeah, definitely. And when you think that City, I think, only had the fifth highest conversion rate last season. So created all those chances, didn't score as many goals as they should have had compared to the chances that they created, expected goals as well. He's going to have so many opportunities every single game to score that. Even if he doesn't take them all, he will still score many. So, yeah, I agree with the boys. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.